This video was made possible by EE Creator Network. Special thanks for inviting me to this opportunity. Well, he's got a key to the city of Lafayette, Louisiana, but with the present company, Daniel Cormier here, I'm not sure I'm going to go so far as to call him the king of Lafayette, but Dustin Poirier has become a UFC champion and he remains one of the best lightweights. He's not the king of Lafayette, he's one of the kings of the UFC's lightweight division. A phenomenal striker, has such great boxing, big, strong, long arms, and an ability to fight through so much adversity to try and accomplish his goals. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the lightweight division, but also has the ability to knock you out and just outright over 25 minutes. And at times competing as a featherweight, he was almost a victim of his own success. He did so well that he stayed down there. Of course, since moving up to 155 pounds, he's put his best foot forward. He draws yet another elite lightweight in this fight. one just about to get underway. All right, we are underway with this stand-up only fight as we remind you of the rule set here. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. All right, so Dustin Poirier getting off to a pretty good start tonight and all driven by that straight left hand. Yeah, you know, Dustin Poirier is a right-handed guy, so he's pawing at you with the right jab and then boom. He drops that right hand. We have seen him put some of the best fighters in the world on their back with that straight left hand. Good to see that Dustin Poirier is landing it early in this fight tonight. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts 
that certain strike. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy would just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Oh, uppercut. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Continuing to go to the head. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Poirier. Push kick there to the body. Beautiful kick. Just over two minutes to go. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to do it. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get hurt. Back to the feet now. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Just misses with that big right hand. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish with your it right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. He's hurt again! Final seconds. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Round two, Conor McGregor versus Ready, Dustin Poirier. Ready. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Oh, a huge block there. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston, and it lands again. It's like an atom bomb. Like, he hits people, and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him and Eddie Alvarez, how every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoes. Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC. Yeah, he needs to register that. <laughs> So 41 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Well, not the most efficient effort today. The numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Dustin Poirier. Let's move. Let's make it Stay focused. Two minutes have gone by. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh my goodness, these boys are going at it. Yes. How about the accuracy to land right there? He's, a He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, great shot.
This is big. That's big. Oh, my goodness. Nice jab there by McGregor. Well, the one thing about throwing jabs is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they oh! Swing and a miss with that punch by Connor. Oh! Gets back to his feet. Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast in that left hand.